Hi everyone and thanks for being here. As we have seen in the previous video, we updated the BIOS on the MSI motherboard and checked some settings to prevent the 13900K to reach those high temps. And updating the motherboard, we have seen that we gained some performances and we fixed some issues with the performances overall. So today we're going to do the same by updating the BIOS on an ASUS motherboard with the latest BIOS. And the last BIOS we need is the 1658, as we can see here, this is being released on the end of May. So this is a really fresh BIOS and as we can see, here on the first point we have the introduced the performance preferences with options for intel default settings and uh, asus advanced source profile so this is going to allow us to change those default settings for preventing the cpu to hit that much so but before installing this new bios here on the b7060i let's check some performances with the cinebench and some temps so we have to compare it between the old bios and this new bios with all the suggested default settings right here we have some tests with cinebench as we can see we have these pretty standard points here here and let's check some temps as you can see we have also pretty high temps here on the cpu and let's go and check also some core clocks pretty standard i have to say so let's head back to the bios and install the last bios update and check some settings and see if we are going to get back better temps without having that much decrease in test on cinebench all right first thing first let's enter into the advanced mode by pressing the f7 so as we can see here we have all the settings on the motherboard this is the previous version of the bios as we can see we have the of 1645 so let's go and update the bios and check all the settings we need to change view the cpu is the 14600k which isn't uh, drawing that much power as the 13900k but anyway here we can easily also reach 100 degrees right as we can see the bios has been updated to the version 1658 so the last version which supports that intel default settings we move to the ai tweaker as we can see the performance preferences here are intel default settings because whenever you install those these bios will automatically apply those settings for the power limits and everything else so you can choose here between intel default settings and asus advanced oc profile i would leave it on intel default settings because we're going to check some performances and see what kind of performance we are getting with cinebench as we can see here whenever you apply this one we have this disclaimer which is saying to that basically this profile is loading the intel performance power delivery profiles with the pl1 pl2 and all those settings uh, are applied accordingly to those power limits for preventing all those issues as we can see here we have also included the 14 600k all this information as you can see we have this link here to intel.com overclocking so you can go to that link and check all the settings the recommended settings from intel for overclocking and for preventing all these issues i will hit ok and uh, the only thing i'm going to change here is the memory frequency because we leave it on auto the dram frequency is going to be 4800 so i don't want that because this memory are more capable of doing that and everything else i will leave it on auto the asus performance enhancement i will disable it because as you can see here from the description if you disable it, it will keep the intel default cpu settings so this is what we want to do because we want to test this profile to see how the temps and the frequencies and everything else accordingly is going to work and moving down here in all, all these settings i will leave as it is in auto because we don't want to touch anything here for again for checking how it's going to be so let's go back to the windows and check some performances on cinebench all right guys here we have some results on cinebench after applying all those default settings on bios with an intel default settings as we can see here the temp is around 92 degrees so we have more or less less around 10 degrees less than what we have with all those default settings before installing those this new bios and applying all those default settings just uh, a couple of things to keep in mind all these temps and all this result and all this benchmark depends a lot of in what conditions you are doing all these temps. for example room temps if you have an appropriate cooler or all in one cooler might be helpful in this case and so on so maybe not all these result and all these temps are going to be the same for everyone maybe someone is going to get higher temps or maybe even on lower temps it depends on your motherboard on a lot of settings so these results are not the exact same result that everybody's going to get with that said if you guys are going to have more than 92 degrees because maybe it depends on your room temp or maybe it depends on how you are cooling the cpu well we what we can do we can go to the bios and apply some voltage offset as we can see here i don't have any voltage offset i just leave everything on auto on default so we can apply certain voltage offset but with 0 0.050 volts as a starting point to go and check if you are going to have less temps and without losing a lot of performance because of course if you are going to touch those settings you are going to have less performances in this case with the default settings we are not losing that much as we can see here uh, probably 10 points uh, more or less and a couple of things here we can see also the power limit static have the maximum power limit of the cpu is 181 watt so this cpu is cut to 181 watt or to 100 degrees it depends on which of the two things the cpu is bridging and let's have a look also 
on the current frequencies, as we can see, we have pretty standard results, I have to say, more or less, probably are not perfect. But again, this depends on the system of everyone is using for testing and for everything. So that's all for these settings on the Intel 14600K using an ASUS B7060 i motherboard. Let me know if you guys are using these settings and if you have updated the BIOS and what are your performances. Thanks for watching this video. And if you find it helpful, leave a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel.